we're going to get some poetry. Uh, we're going to have Richard King's coming back to uh, uh, to give a, to, to read a poem, and here it is. This is called Guide to Education by Michael Rosen. It was written last year. You get education in schools. To find out how much education you get, the government gives you tests. Before you do the tests, the government likes it if you are put on different tables that show how well or how badly you're going to do in the tests. The tests test whether they put you on the right table. The tests test whether you know what you're supposed to know. But don't try to get to know any old stuff like what is earwax or how to make soup. The way to know things you're supposed to know is to do pretend tests. When you do the pretend tests, you learn how to think in the way that tests want you to think. The more practice you do, the more likely it is that you won't make the mistake of thinking in any other way other than in the special test way of thinking. Here's an example. The apples are growing on the tree. What is growing on the tree? If you say leaves, you are wrong. It's no use you thinking that when apples are on a tree, there are usually leaves on the tree too. There is only one answer, and that is apples all other answers are wrong if you are the kind of person that thinks leaves is a good answer doing lots and lots and lots of practice tests will get you to stop thinking that leaves is a good answer doing many many practice tests will also make it very likely that there won't be time for you to go out and have a look at a real apple tree to see what else grows on apple trees like ants or mistletoe. Education's getting much better these days because there is much more testing. Remember, it's apples, not leaves.